Welcome back to the Basilica of Sant'Antoni in Padua, Italy, for our meditation in preparation for the Feast of St. Anthony. Today's theme is Anthony Apostles of Forgiveness. We are now in one of the cloisters of the Basilica of St. Anthony, one of the five cloisters of the Basilica of St. Anthony. They were built from the 14th to the 15th century. From here we can see the entrance of the Penitenziaria or All of Confessions, a large room with many confessionals where people go to confess their sins, where people approach the sacrament of reconciliation. We have friars here in confections from uh, 6.30 in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening with a short break during lunchtime. They speak, uh, of course, various languages, including English. People come here to restore their friendship with God. For this reason, Pope Paul VI called the Basilica a spiritual clinic. Now I am inside the Hall of Confessions. St. Anthony is often defined as the apostle of individual confessions. And in fact, he used to spend all days, the entire days, listening to confession from morning to evening. And he calls confession a gate to heaven. In one of his sermons, he writes, So, when through confession, some worldly person is converted and becomes one of Christ's little ones, we ought to burst forth in joy of heart with exultant voice and say, a child is born to us. Only God knows how many people came to Antony for confession, received God's forgiveness for their sins and went away forgiven filled with uh, joy and ready to make restitution. We know that medicine and uh, therapy can heal a wounded or sick body, but uh, we also know that uh, only God's grace can heal a wounded uh, or sick soul. That's why Jesus left the sacrament of penance to heal our spiritual wounds, which we call sin. And so, now we pray. Dear St. Anthony, God for you was Jesus who forgives without limit. Give us the light to know our sins. Feel true sorrow for them and a firm purpose of never committing them again. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for participating. I'll see you tomorrow for our next meditation. So, for now, God bless you.